Well, Mozambican law enforcement officials today put a stop to what was expected to be the biggest protest in the country. Opposition parties who believe the elections were rigged called on citizens to demonstrate. Newsroom Africa's Junior Kumalo is on the ground in Mozambique and filed this report. Tear gas, rubber bullets, and even physical confrontations. Mozambican law enforcement were fully armed to quell more post-election protests in the country. Disgruntled opposition party supporters had been called upon to flood the streets and make the country ungovernable. The call came from party leaders who believe October's general elections were not free and fair. And citizens in the country are agreeing. I am Mozambican. I voted and I know who I voted. And I know much people here in Mozambique voted, voted too. So we came here to protest our vote. There are a lot of, thing, there are a lot of things here in Mozambique that are uh, not uh, running well. So today we decided to come out, everyone, to protest our vote and say no more. Defeated Podemos presidential candidate Valencio Mondale has been at the forefront for calling for civil unrest until the highest court in the land declares the election results null and void. Despite this, he is said to have now fled the country, fearing for his life. It was our advice he not stay here because we know exactly what will happen with him. If he stays here or if he comes and march with us, Probably they will kill him. So we avoid him not to stay here. At the end of, of everything, when we won, when we really won the war, you know, he will come and we, he will celebrate with us. Frelim Pat, uh, the president says that he won the election. Why, does, why doesn't he come and celebrate with us if he, he really won, won the election? Now he is hiding. I don't know exactly where he is. But I believe that he won't come here because he knows that he didn't win the election. There are claims that law enforcement in the country have been heavy-handed while the government disconnected some mobile services in a bid to deter citizens. But Mozambicans turned out in their numbers. The country's struggle stalwart and second president, Joachim Chisano, made a rare appearance since his exit from active politics almost two decades ago to call for calm. The election results are yet to be declared amid concerns over vote rigging. For Newsroom Africa, on Channel 405, I'm Junior Kumalo in Mozambique.